This one is definitely a pretty tricky problem solving question. Pause the video now and see if you can do it. The question says express one over the square root of three to the power of seven in the form root b over c, where b and c are integers. What do we think, guys? There's a couple of different ways to do this. I personally would recommend writing this out seven times. So we're going to have one over the square root of three times by one over the square root of three times by one over the square root of three times by one over the square root of three times by one over the square root of three times by one over the square root of three times by one over the square root of three. Let me check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, now we can see what's actually going on. Let's break this down. One over the square root of three times by one over the square root of three. Well, on the bottom, we're just going to end up with the square root of nine. So we're essentially going to have this being equal to one over the square root of nine, which is one over three. We can kind of pair up each of our pairs of two, um, one over root three times one over root threes to get three sets of this. So we're going to have one over root three times by one over root three times by pairing these two together. We're going to have one over root three, and then we're going to have this times by one over the square root of three on the end. We can now simplify this. One over root three times one over root three times one over root three is going to be one over root 27. And then times by one over root three, we're going to have one over 27 root 3. Moving forwards from here, we can see that we need this in the form root b over c. So we're going to get rid of the third on the bottom. How do we do that? We're going to rationalize our denominator. So we're going to multiply the top and bottom by the square root of 3, which is the third currently on the bottom. On the top, we're going to end up with the square root of 3. And on the bottom, we're going to end up with the with 27 root 3 times by root 3. The root 3 times by the root 3 is going to give us root 9. The square root of 9 is 3. And then we're going to do the 27 times by the 3, which is going to give us 81, giving us root 3 over 81 as our answer. If you stayed with me all the way there, you're probably going to want to watch the video again. That was a tricky one. I explained it very quickly. Hopefully that explanation made sense.